Hey guys, so about last year or the year before, I believe in 2022, I started a reviving home series on my channel where I tried to bring life back into my rental. And today, guys, we're tackling this bathroom. Look at this bathroom. So the walls were a bit damaged, you know, anywhere there was dings or holes, I kind of patched that up. But look at this bathroom. Look at these floors. They're like yellowish brown. If Sin had a look, it would look like this bathroom, okay? If you were to Google Sin and click images, this bathroom should pop up in your Google search. So we're going to add some style and some color and most importantly, some life back into this bathroom we're not leaving any part untouched we're touching the ceiling we're touching them walls and we're touching them floors okay so i hope you guys enjoy this makeover and let's take this bathroom of sin from sin to the grace of god okay i hope you guys enjoy So I am beginning by clearing out the bathroom completely for the most part. So I'm taking everything off the counters, removing um, the shelving, just everything so we could start with a completely blank space and then we're gonna get to painting. Medicine cabinets are great for small spaces, but this one had to go. It was so old, and because I'm going to incorporate new storage in there, we wouldn't need this one. here because clearly the shelf is not off the wall i was just getting very impatient um i wanted to start seeing the color change i wanted the walls clean white and i had like zero patience left in me so i picked up that brush and i just started painting girl i started painting yeah Okay. 
okay so now i'm pretty much done with the white paint on the walls and the ceiling and it's starting to look better like more alive like the sin is disappearing y'all the sin is disappearing okay so yeah these walls are starting to walk in a full-fledged deliverance I'm just marking on the walls now where I'm gonna be putting my poplar board for that little board and batten detail all around the washroom that way I can make sure that it's on the same level all around so it's not up and down wonky um, yeah so we're gonna get into that get these boards cut down put them on the walls and then we're gonna get them painted spacing in between to make sure it's equal especially on this wall here because it's right across from the toilet and it has the most vertical boards of all the walls because it's not a big bathroom so this is probably the biggest blank wall of all of them so it was very important for me to get the spacing as equal apart as equal equally apart distance as possible and that's what we have here for this corner wall here um, I went ahead and cut the poplar board on a 45 degree angle that way it could meet once I nail it into the wall um, on this side I think there was a bit of a gap in between the joint but I think I got it right on the other side, which is fine. Sometimes the walls aren't completely straight. So um, if you do have like an angle aid or something, you can kind of go ahead and use that to get the exact angle of the wall. But for the most part, um, right here, the 45, it did what it needed to do. And because it's for my own personal space, I am not that picky. Over here I did the same thing again, I just angled on a 45 with my miter saw and then I just nailed it into the wall so it could meet on the corner. As you guys can see this one did come out a bit more seamless than the one on the other side so yeah trial and error. I'm just going ahead and taping off the lower half, well the upper half of the wall, um, so I could prep to paint the lower half of the wall. Um, we don't want to get anything on the white paint and we want the transition to be as smooth and seamless as possible. So I'm just going around the entire bathroom here and taping it off with some painter's tape.
spots like in here because there's caulking um, and it's not paintable so I have to go in there with a small brush I have to clean up some spots on the floor and things like that but the ceiling is dry the walls are dry for the most part um, it looks pretty good the only thing with black paint is um, if the lines aren't crisp or whatever the case is, it kind of gives a messy appearance. So we're just gonna fix those up today, and hopefully I can start hanging some stuff. The door is blocked. Looks really good. Um, there's some fun touch-ups here to this room, but nonetheless, we're gonna keep going and. that okay guys so now i'm going to be doing the floors these are the tiles i got the reason i bought these actually was because during the pandemic i went over to home sense and i seen a box for i think three dollars and they only had one box in home sense so i ended up going to on Amazon and just buying two more boxes at full price but um, I just thought it was such a great deal um, for a box and I ended up picking this and I think this helped me to kind of build the design or create the design for the bathroom um, so I'm gonna lay these down um, there was the option to do checker but I think because it's already such a busy tile um, I don't really want to make it even more busy in here so i'm gonna lay it down um one direction and i do want to do a design on the ceiling so i don't want the two to compete so i'm gonna go ahead lay this in one direction and kind of just lay the tiles out so i know how i'm gonna stick them before i actually take the backing off so let's get started with that tiles down um, I had to consult with my sister ask her which way looked better I feel this way we decided on this way doing the checkered pattern when it's all one way it just looks so busy I think with the checkered pattern it gives it a break in between each tile so your eyes aren't all over the place I thought it would be the opposite but um so this is how I'm laying the tiles down I'm gonna see how far I get hopefully I have enough tile complete the bathroom. I bought three boxes. I didn't do any measuring, um, which is very irresponsible of me. But let's see how it looks when it's all done. So I'm going to go ahead, continue laying these down and see how far we can go. I'm interested in knowing how you guys would have laid these tiles. Would you guys have gone with laying them in one direction? Um, or would you guys have gone with the checkered look yourselves? Let me know down in the comments below how you guys would have laid these tiles. So now I'm starting the line art on the ceilings. Um, this is a design I had in my head since about 2020 or 2021, whenever I found the box of tiles. And I didn't 
executed until 2023. Um, so I was a bit nervous to get started, but um, as time went on, it kind of just came organically and I just went with it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the ceiling once it's complete. Leave me a comment down below. Is the ceiling too much for you? It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. But um, yeah, did you guys like the way the ceiling turned out? Yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Give me some feedback, y'all. go ahead and prep the counter for some peel and stick contact paper i never thought i would become a peel and stick contact paper type of gal but here i am peel and stick in so i just wanted to make sure it was free of any paint debris we didn't want any lumps under that contact paper um and this contact paper is from amazon i will try to link it down below if i can find the link for it Educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Signed up for the Hall of Shame. I wish I knew.
I switched out my open storage for this closed storage cabinet from Ikea. So I believe it's the Enhet E-N-H-E-T storage cabinet with the oak finish or they call the oak effect. So um, I really liked it. I, it has several shelves so you can kind of store anything, your toiletries in there, your bathroom products, your face products, cleaning products, everything you need in there it's nice and small but it has ample storage so i love that i got this shower head combo from amazon and let me tell you i don't regret this purchase for one second it was under a hundred dollars it is the best shower experience I mean the handheld part the shower head and for me it was easy to install um, but yeah I'm gonna link it down below um, it will be the Canadian link because I am in Canada but you can just search up the name if you're in the US or any other part of the world and get your hand on this shower head it will upgrade your shower life it will upgrade your rental bathroom i promise you won't regret it now you do have to make sure you're putting enough plumber's tape on the spout because um, I did run into an incident where I didn't put enough and it was leaking and then I had to take the arm off of the spout and then put some more plumber's tape so just ensure you're putting enough of that plumber tape plumber's tape whatever you want to call it on your spout that way you don't have to take it down and do it over again Here's where I was trying to explain to you guys that I ran into the issue with the plumber's tape. So um, you can see it's leaking from where the arm connects to the spout. So I did have to go in and add some more plumber's tape, but we got it fixed and it ended up working perfectly fine. But guys, it is a new year. We are in 2024, which is insane. I thought by 2024, we would have flying cars and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, how has life been lately? For me, life has definitely been lifing, okay? My problems decided to choose violence this year. And yeah, but we're going to come out strong. And on top, we're going to be of good cheer. Okay, and we're trusting in the Lord that he has better and greater plans for us. But yeah, life has definitely been lifing. These problems have been probleming. But nonetheless, we thank God for life. And we got to keep going, you know. So yeah, if you're going through anything right now, I'm encouraging you guys to just stay motivated stay in prayer um keep the faith 
and trust that all things are working out for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, okay? And we shall come out on top, even if the year is starting off rocky and salty and bitter, it shall end off sweet because we just can't stay down forever. So we're trusting in the Lord and we are just hoping better days are ahead, guys. This towel bar from Home Sense, it was acrylic. I love this towel bar. It's simple. It just goes with any design. I did get these glass shelves from Ikea a few years ago um, so I'm kind of just relocating mo mainly the top one um, they were um, diagonal from each other so I'm kind of just stacking it here um, but yeah these weren't brand new these are from Ikea I'm not sure if they still have them but I will link it down below if they are still available so if you're interested you can go ahead and get you some a problem here so it's kind of hard to tell but the old light fixture was centered but the junction box over here is to the right the electrical box is to the right the way this new fixture is it only has a square plate so if I install it it's going to be off center because I can't move the electrical box um, there's no way for me to put it here and run the wiring over here. There's nothing to cover it. Um, I didn't take that into account when I purchased this fixture. So my only option would be to offset it and then fill these holes from the previous light fixture. And I'm just hoping I do this right. I don't electrocute myself and I don't set the home on fire. So pray for me. So this mirror was another HomeSense find. I got it on sale for $32 and it was originally $59.99. So I'm gonna go ahead, mark out where my screws go and then put that piece of foam on the wall. So as you guys can see, it won't be centered with the mirror or with the faucet or anything, but we're still gonna make it work. After I hung up the mirror, 
um, I did realize the wall did look a little bare here and because the light fixture was off centered and it wasn't in aligned it wasn't aligned with the mirror or the faucet I just thought let me bring this line design down and yeah I don't regret doing that I think it turned out pretty well so that's what I'm here doing just bringing down the line design onto this wall here So the cupboard doors are chipped away. You can see um, the particle board is kind of showing um, under the finish. So I did want to cover it. So I just went ahead with the same poplar board I used for the trim. And I am using it to create like a shaker style type of cabinet. Um, and I do that to both sides. So that's what you see me doing here. And then I'm going to paint it out to match the cupboard. So here is a reminder of what the bathroom looked like before. Remember it was knee deep in sin and we had to take it from sin to salvation. Okay, it had to be redeemed. We had to get this bathroom redeemed. Hopefully now when you Google sin, you will no longer see my bathroom pop up in your Google image search. Okay. Um, yeah, so the floors were like a yellowish, orangish, beigeish color. The walls were messed up. It was just pretty boring. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this makeover down below. Is there anything you would have done differently? Um, is there anything you liked that you disliked? I love to hear feedback from you guys. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this um, reviving home episode as we revived and brought life back into the bathroom um yeah leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys in my next video god bless mm -hmm.